Um, okay, so I appreciate the uh, little change in schedule so that I could uh, offer a few comments before we get to the controversial panel. Might help level set with, uh, with some questions. So I think I'm in the program um, as the industry perspective. I just want to point out, uh, I'm not going to give you the industry perspective. I work for Dexcom. I can't represent other companies. Anyone from any other companies here in the med device industry? Okay. Um, so one of the things that I like the most about these kinds of events is getting to hear stories, even from people who I've known for some time, uh, because I always learn a little bit more about the individuals involved and why they're so committed and passionate. Uh, and so I hope you'll bear with me as I just share a little bit of my story with you, um, because I've only been in industry for a year and a half. Uh, so, I am a scientist raised by an engineer and an educator, and I didn't know much about uh, diabetes until 2001 when one of my best friends in undergrad was diagnosed with type 1, uh, and so had sort of a front row seat to uh, what that did to his lifestyle and to his goals and to his plans, uh, understood the uh, interesting advice and guidance he was receiving from the medical treating community at the time about the limitations that he would be facing for the rest of his life and you know good thing you already ran your marathon because if that was still on your bucket list it's just not something that you can do uh, and so we started talking about forming a club for people with type 1 diabetes who wanted to be more involved in exercise and sports and adventure programs uh, 2005 i was now a phd student at uc san diego studying biomedical science, and uh, that was the year that we sent our first group of type 1 teenagers to hike the Inca Trail in Machu Picchu, and uh, over the, the following years, we helped hundreds of people with type 1 diabetes train for uh, 5Ks, Ironman events, uh, you know, week-long canoeing and camping adventures, and, you know, meanwhile, I'm uh, anchored to my bench as a PhD student doing genomics and bioinformatics work uh, in cancer. But the experiences that I had working with my friends with type 1 and their friends with type 1 and their families totally changed what I wanted to do with my research career. Uh, and so uh, in 2011, uh, I joined the faculty at UC San Diego at the School of Medicine Division of Biomedical Informatics with the goal of you know, making a difference in diabetes technology and informatics, uh, trying to create systems that would enable uh, device agnostic data collection and data-driven analytics for decision support with, for patients with type 1. So, preaching to the choir on some of that. Um, so I, I collected a bunch of data from a bunch of devices from uh, about you know, 16, 17 patients with type 1 and tried to get the data from the devices. And you know, I'm reasonably tech savvy. I can program a VCR. Uh, <laughs> thanks to my dad being an engineer, uh, presumably, but I actually had to get help from a friend of mine who worked for a clinical research um, outfit so that I could get all of the data from the various diabetes devices. I mean, some of the people that I was working with, they didn't have the little communication dongles for their pump, and that drawer full of cables and stuff, goodness, yeah, I get it. Um, so I collected this really great data set, couldn't get it published. So it's still living on a server uh, at the San Diego Supercomputer Center. If anyone wants access to it, let me know. I'd be happy to help you get that. Um, but I started to just see that um, maybe there was another place that I could make a bigger, faster difference for all the people with type 1 who I cared so much about. And so that's why I joined Dexcom uh, in April 2014. Never thought that I would work in the medical device industry, but I've been really, really happy to find um, a lot of uh, kindred spirits um, throughout the company there. Uh, so I joined April of 2014. May 1st of 2014, got an email from Lane Desborough. I should mention, I've known Lane since 2012. I've known Ben West since 2013. Uh, many of these usual suspects in the diabetes hacker community are people who I've known personally since uh, before all of this had a name. Um, so I got an email from Lane. <laughs> like, I've been on the job for a couple of right and I got the night scout quick start guide I thought whoa they just made it really easy this is gonna go viral too bad I can't pick stocks right um, so within a couple of weeks I was on the phone with Ben West and Adrian DeCroy um, what can we do together uh, how can we work together 
you know, um, Dexcom is a producer, and so we have a different set of resources and re responsibilities and constraints than a maker. And part of what I'm trying to do is to create a porous membrane. Um, I'm a scientist, sorry. Uh, you know, between the, the producer community and the maker community in the medical device space. Because this is not a new phenomenon, right? I mean, lead users have been informing producers and companies and other industries for decades, even centuries. Uh, started working with a professor at MIT named Eric von Hippel who is, you know, he, he coined the term lead user. He understands these processes. And so figuring out how to uh, bring that mentality of appreciation for the passion and commitment and talent of these external innovators into what we can do as a company to provide an FDA approved solution. Does it do everything that a maker solution does? Not today. And can a company keep up with people that are solving their own problems in real time in their real lives? I think that's a huge challenge. I don't know that, uh, that any company could ever do it. Um, but, you know, and I'm not going to dive into the capabilities of our technology, of where we've been, where we are, where we're going. Um, but I do just want to say, uh, you know, don't apologize to me for doing what you need to do uh, to manage diabetes in your lives. So that is the perspective that I just wanted to share very quickly before uh, we move into a panel. So if that helps to to guide any of the questions or comments that you'd like to make. Uh, I'm absolutely open uh, to really any uh, questions that come up. So thanks very much.